Good evening, Francis. Good evening, Mariana. Are you hearing us okay? Good evening, Thomas. And Thomas too, yes. The man with the hat. The man with the hat. The man with the golden hat. Looking very dapper in it, he was too. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing us okay? You're not meant to be seeing us yet, but you should be <coughs> hearing us. Uh -huh. uh, don't be going with that. Right, I'll, I'll put it on to visual because it always costs a wee bit of confusing. Confusing. Hello. Hello. Visual. Visual. Here we are. Here we are. Shouldn't 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 be coming. coming. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that any better? Yeah, that's better. Little sister Caroline uh -huh. and her family are with her. Well, you all better watch out because that'll be one great team there. Mm -hmm. uh, are you hearing this okay? Or is it still is it still echoing? Hello, hello, hello. This isn't going well at all when it should be looking better. How do you know it's echoing? Because someone said oh. echo. Uh, Mariana said echo. Still saying that they're saying that the microphone's still too quiet. Uh, um, I think I'm going to go back to using the computer because I'm not liking the way it, but it's not working well at all with this laptop yet. Good evening, one half bandit. Right, who we got? I've got money on it. We'll just ignore that no audio one there because uh, I'm assuming that's just someone at it. Well, yeah. is it not Aiden? I don't know. Well, I mean, I would hope not. Right, I don't know, but I'm going to make a suggestion. Uh huh. I know I know nothing about it, but is it possible that it's an echo because I also have a microphone? Uh, yes, but I've got it. To, I've got it. Uh, coming through the find my microphone. Right. So are you still hearing this okay? Uh is the echo going? Hey Stephen, happy Easter to you too. Um Got 
this up at max. And then join it. Jennifer and Stephen are their wee side competition. Uh, yeah. Right, bear with me a wee set. I'll try, I'll try and see if I can get the volume a bit louder, but I, I seem to have, as far as I can tell, everything turned up max. What was that? Right, sound. Output, input, microphone. Oh, wait a minute, let's see that. Is that any better? Should hopefully be a wee bit louder. So, Janet, can you hear us? Maybe I should just ask you. I, th I think it's better now. Okie dokie. Well, we also seem to, I'm seeing, I'm noticing that we're freezing a, a lot on that on this screen as well. So, I, I, ah, I don't know. I'm getting quite exasperated by this. Right. Sorry for my, my moans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I keep trying to do things to improve uh, and hopefully get better connection and stop all the... Uh, yeah, so that we could just go on and start. Yes, uh, but nothing I'm doing seems to make things work any better. So I might go back to... Oh, we have the, the Marvins here as well. Good evening, Marvins. Nice to have you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, do you say Janet is here? Uh, uh, I'm going to mark in Aiden uh, just in case that is yeah, genuine. It is, yeah. uh, well, well, time will tell. Right, so <coughs> as I say, unfortunately, we seem to have some latency issues and what have you. So I'm going to crack on. I think we're a wee bit. When we know that some of our regulars won't be joining us uh -huh. tonight. So. I think probably that everyone that's coming is probably yeah. here. And can I just say that I haven't got, I had got Galaxy in the house because Thomas sent me some, but I haven't got it here. But what I have got is Thomas also sent a box with, I'd say maybe about a thousand minstrels in it. Uh, um, yeah, well, so, we're, so I'm gradually working my way through them, but I've only just started in them too. Because I've not been eating chocolate. Nah, so it just keeps freezing. So. Right. There we are, one box of said minstrels. And as she says, she's slowly working her way through them. So thanks for that, Thomas. Hope you enjoy wearing your hat. And hopefully yours will arrive to tomorrow, Francis. Anyway, I think we should crack on with the quiz. As always, five rounds of ten questions. The first round tonight is on this day. So things that happened in history on this day, March the 31st, then the usual connection round, picture round, the chain and general knowledge. So, I'm working to a slightly different system tonight as well, so bear with me, there we go. So, good luck everyone. And we'll move on to round one, which as I said, is what happened on this day. March 31st. Question 1. The first in a run of 14 Sherlock Holmes movies starring Basil Rathbone was released on this day in 1939. Is that what it says? Yes. What's it called? So that's the... question 1. The first in a run of 14 <coughs> Sherlock Holmes movies starring Basil Rathbone was released on this day in 1939. What's it called?
Question two. On this day in 1966, Labour won the general election. Who became Prime Minister? Good evening, Beth. Thanks Good for evening, joining Beth. us. And you're not too late. We're only on to question two. And we're having a wee, a few wee issues, so we're a wee bit late in starting. So, so question two. On this day in 1966, Labour won the general election. Who became Prime Minister? Question three. Boxer Ken Norton broke whose jaw in a bout on this day in 1973? So that's question three. Boxer Ken Norton broke whose jaw in a bout on this day in 1973? Question four. Which Mediterranean island celebrates its Freedom Day today? So that's question four. Which Mediterranean island celebrates its Freedom Day today? Question five. <clears throat> the final Monty Python movie was released on this day in 1983. What's it called? Question five. The final Monty Python movie was released on this day in 1983. What's it called? <clears throat> Question six. Which famous landmark opened in Paris on March the 31st, 1889? So that's question six. Which famous landmark opened in Paris on March the 31st, 1889? Is that all coming through all right? So at your end all. Mm -hmm. Any signs of freezing or anything? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. That's just when we're building the Keith's Tower. Lovely sky tonight. I can't see it from here. Take your word for it. Question seven. Born on this day in 1948, which former US Vice President served under Bill Clinton? That's question seven. Born on this day in 1948, which former US Vice President served under Bill Clinton? Question 8. Rioters took to the streets of London on this day in 1990 against the introduction of what? That's question 8. Rioters took to the streets of London on this day in 1990 against the introduction of what? Question 9. Which group released the Billboard Song of the Year, Boom Boom Pow, on March the 31st, 2009? So that's question 9. Which group released the Billboard Song of the Year, Boom Boom Pow, on March the 31st, 2009? The 
last question for this round. Question 10. The winner of four gold medals at the Berlin Olympics of 1936 died on this day in 1980. What's his name? Question 10. The winner of four gold medals at the Berlin Olympics of 1936 died on this day in 1980. What's his name? Potential new overall mark person and not possibly got Linda and John when we get to the yeah. scores. Now moving on to round two, which is a connection round. So for any new players that might be out there, the first nine answers are connected in some way, and question ten is what's the connection? So good luck everybody. Question one. Which Penelope starred in The Good Life and To The Manor Born? So that's question one. Which Penelope starred in The Good Life and To The Manor Born? Good evening, Cole. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you'll be able to catch up. Yeah. Because it's not shown here. It's just in case. Question two. What is the main colour of the Australian flag? So it's question two. What is the main colour of the Australian flag? Question three. Avon is the Celtic word for what? So it's question three. Avon is the Celtic word for what? Question four. Which women's gymnastics apparatus is four inches wide? So it's question four. Which women's gymnastics apparatus is four inches wide? Doesn't seem to be much of a delay in it tonight. Oh. No, it's much quicker. No. <coughs> So we'd hurry up and shift. Or something would hurry up and shift. <laughs> Question five. Which Take That Song featured Mark Owen on vocals and got to number one in the UK in 2007? So that's question five. Which Take That Song featured Mark Owen on vocals and got to number one in the UK in 2007? And what a great song it is. It is. The, the, I think they're not normal, should adopt it. Question six. A quick one gulp ounce of straight spirit, for example tequila or vodka, is commonly called a what? Question six. A quick one gulp ounce of straight spirit, for example tequila or vodka, is commonly called a what? Question 7. What word is missing from this lyric? I wandered out in the world for years while you just stayed in your room. I saw the... So that's question seven. What word is missing from this lyric? I wandered out... <coughs> excuse me. I wandered out in the world for years 
Well, you just stayed in your room. I saw the what? Question eight. What type? There's a missing word there. What? <laughs> what type of animal is an Alaskan Malamute? So that's question eight. What type of animal is an Alaskan Malamute? Well, was something manages to slip through, isn't it? Yeah, but you had that marked down to yeah. sort it. Yeah, and we did. Not. That's not my department, I I'm afraid. Uh, I could say, well, really, then what you should be doing is double checking, not single checking. Question nine. What mouse is the smallest rodent in Europe? So that's question nine. What mouse is the smallest rodent in Europe? Finally, for this round, question 10. What's, what's the, the connection? connection? <coughs> Moving on to the answers for the first two rounds. And then we'll do the usual, see if it catch up, see how everyone's doing. So, round one, what happened on this day, March 31st? Question one. The first in a run of 14 Sherlock Holmes movies starring Basil Rathbone was released on this day in 1939. What's it called? It's called The Hound of the Baskervilles. Question two. On this day, in 1966, Labour won the general election. Who became Prime Minister? And that was Harold Wilson. That's the only way I remember him, is with the mm -hmm. pipe. Question three. Boxer Ken Norton broke whose jaw in a bout on this day in 1973? He broke Muhammad Ali's jaw. <clears throat> but he's still a very, very, very good looking man. Like Ken Norton? <laughs> no. <laughs> you hear that, Jennifer? <laughs> Question four. Which Mediterranean island celebrates its Freedom Day today? And that is Malta. Question five. What's the name of the last Monty Python movie released on this day in 1983? And that would be The Meaning of Life. Question six. Which famous landmark opened in Paris on March the 31st, 1889? And that would be the Eiffel Tower. Question seven. Born on this day in 1948, which former US Vice President served under Bill Clinton? And that would be Al Gore. Question eight. Rioters took to the streets of London on this day in 1990 against the introduction of what? Against the introduction of poll tax. Or Community, community charge, charge it was yeah. called, I think, yeah. the correct title. So if anyone's put community charge, that is, of course, the correct answer too. Question nine. Which group released the Billboard Song of the Year, Boom Boom Pow, on March the 31st, 2009? That was Black Eyed Peas. 
It's amazing about the amount of uh, multi single release bands that I can think of who probably got to number one with one of their worst songs, and that was one of their worst songs that yeah, got to number one, in my opinion. Question 10. The winner of four gold medals at the Berlin Olympics of 1936 died this day in 1980. What's his name? His name is Jesse Owens. <clears throat> Round two, connection round, and question one. Which Penelope starred in The Good Life and To The Manor Born? That would be Penelope Keith. Question two. What is the main colour of the Australian flag? And that would be blue. Question three. Avon is the Celtic word for what? Avon is the Celtic word for river and there's a wee fun fact thrown in there but I'll just leave it a wee sight for you have a quick read if you can Question 4 Which women's gymnastics apparatus is 4 inches wide? That would be the beam also known as the balance beam Question 5. Which Take That song featured Mark Owen on vocals and got to number one in the UK in 2007? And that is the brilliant Shine. And it's a really good song. Oh. Question 6. A quick one gulp ounce of straight spirit, for example tequila or vodka, is commonly called a what? It's commonly called a shot. I wonder if everybody caught the answer for the last one. But for question five, the answer was shame. It uh, seemed to be going mm. very quick. Question seven. What word is missing from this lyric? I wandered out in the world for years while you just stayed in your room. I, I saw the... Crescent. Because it's from The Hole of the Moon by the Water Boys. Another brilliant song. Question eight. What type of animal is an Alaskan Malamut? That is a dog. Quite a few of them in Owen. Mm -hmm. Question nine. What mouse is the smallest rodent in Europe? That would be harvest mouse. And question ten. What's the connection? And the connection is moon. There you see, Keith Moon, Blue Moon, Moon River, Moon Beam, Moonshine, Moonshot, Crescent Moon, Moon Dog, and Harvest Moon. So the connection was Moon. Alright, so let's get a wee catch up, see how everyone's doing. Who's all still here? So Thomas is calling me chocolate face, <laughs> which makes me wonder. <laughs> I want to ask the question, Thomas. Have you had any chocolate today? Ah, no, not tonight, Cole. That's well for Stephen. Is that done? You can block that, I think. I think so. I think you're just clicking it, right click on the touch. Yeah, right. So, Stephen. Oh, uh, Connor's here now. Hi, hey, Lynn. So, no, th th thanks for joining us. You, you could maybe you could maybe manage to catch up. Yeah, by just scrolling back and rushing through it. Um, <laughs> no so, chocolate for Beth either. Hmm? Uh, Linda and John are with us, and they have got thirteen for those two rounds. Uh, they're saying they're they're not so good on the music as well. Uh, 
Mariana. Yeah, well, it's just sometimes when you're doing a, a, a connection, sometimes it's very easy to have a, a real diverse pile of questions. Other times it's quite specific and you, you struggle to find. Uh, and that's how we maybe ended up with so many music ones in that. Um, Marvin 17. Jennifer, what did Jennifer say? I saw it. Nine. And uh, Alison, but just put Alison down as Daisy because it yes, makes I've got her down as Daisy. Yeah, 17. Uh, 17. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, what did you say, Linda and John got? 13. 13. Alright. Cool. That's 7. Uh, Janet? Janet's on a total of 13. 13. Very good, Janet. Uh, we've got Mariana. 15, yep, sorry, top of the pile. Right, uh, and uh, Aiden. Aiden, 18. 18, allegedly. Uh, so at the moment in the lead, then we have Aiden on 18, then we have Joint Second, the Marbins, and Daisy. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and then so fourth is Mariana on 15 and then we have the boiling no we have janet have i forgot the boilings yes. oh yes yeah, 16 sorry 16 <coughs> so they're in fourth place yep at the moment 16 <coughs> uh, then we have mariana on 15 janet <coughs> linda and john on 13 uh Stephen on 12. Oh, we've got Beth on 16 too. I'm not doing very I've got a new system tonight. I'm not doing very well with it so far. It's too fancy. <laughs> yeah, you were better when you were just scribbling it. Now that it's all organised. <laughs> I know. I don't do organised very well, apparently. Right, anyway. So, the, the, the main thing is we, we, we know who's leading. Uh, Aiden on 18. And then it's Marbons and Daisy. Uh, equal second on 17. So we'll crack on on to the next round. No, we won't. We'll do what my did you know first. And my did you know is on identical identical twins. Did you know that identical twins don't have the same f fingerprints? You can't blame your crimes on your twin after all. This is because environmental factors during development in the womb, the womb, uh, uh, for example, umbilical cord length, position in the womb, and the rate of finger growth all impact your fingerprint. So, that was one of those that always thought that identicals would have the same. So, identicals are identical, isn't it? Anyway, on to round three, as always, picture round. So, picture one, who's that? Picture two, which building society uses this logo? The, the, the question I've got for Thomas then, given that he's calling you chocolate face, is was that the whole pur the purpose behind sending all these out to you then, was just so you could call me chocolate face? Well, he's called me worse, <laughs> I think, in the past. Yes, indeed. Dental Doris. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's up there. <clears throat> Picture three, <clears throat> name the group.
did you get Stephen's score for this? Mm -hmm. Picture four. Naming this is far too easy. What we want to know is in which US state would you have to visit to see this? Picture 5, what's the name of this torture device? Picture six. What was this called? Might have been re released, or re -released I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, right enough. I think they're on the comeback trail. just noticed Francis comment no chocolate for them today that's probably because it's all up Novin Francis there'll be an absolute famine of minstrels down your way picture seven who's this Picture eight, name the car brand. Leslie will be all over it. Mm -hmm. Picture 9, which country flies this flag? Last one in the picture round. What kind of animal is this?
And moving on to round four, uh, the chain. So for anyone new, the last letter of the first answer is the first letter of the second answer and so on. So good luck everybody. Question one. What country has the code AT? So that's question one. What country has the code AT? Question two. What is the birthstone for March? So question two. What is the birthstone for March? There's no coincidence that I picked the month for my, the, my birthday is from. Or was. Mm -hmm. I should have said my best birthday ever. The last day of that month in which it was your best birthday. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Question three. In the Warner Brothers cartoons, who is the arch enemy of Bugs Bunny? So question three. In the Warner Brothers cartoons, who is the arch enemy of Bugs Bunny? Question four. If you are doing the doogie or voguing, what are you doing? So that's question four. If you are doing the doogie or voguing, what are you doing? Question five. What is another name for a wildebeest? So that's question five. What is another name for a wildebeest? Question six. William Herschel discovered which giant ice planet in 1780? One. 80 answers, I can't read it. <laughs> 1781. Question six. William Herschel discovered which giant ice planet <clears throat> in 1781? Question seven. Which 80s group had hits with to cut a long story short and gold? So question seven. Which 80s group had hits with to cut a long story short and gold? A, I knew there was a connection with Bath, William Herschel. Mm. The 
Herschel Museum of Astronomy, dedicated to the work of William Herschel, who spent some of his life in Bath, is in Bath. Question 8. SN is the chemical symbol for what element? So that's question 8. SN is the chemical symbol for what element? <coughs> Excuse me. Question 9. Said to be the birthplace of Buddha, Lumbini is in which country? Question 9. Said to be the birthplace of Buddha, Lumbini is in which country? <coughs> <coughs> Possibly the angle you're looking at. No, it's because there's not a right thing between no, no glasses and glasses. It's So it's slightly better with the glasses in right. some respects, right. but it could make out, okay. but it's a wee oh. bit blurred. Better go to Specsavers. Yeah, but that costs money and these were about ten yeah. or five. Or Question ten. M Meyer or Mayer, Eureka and Lisbon are the most common types of which fruit? So that's question ten. Mayer, Eureka and Lisbon are the most common types of which fruit? <coughs> Moving on to the answers for round three and four, picture round. So who is this? That's Leo Varadka. <coughs> now, now uh, presently probably a nothing, but I'm sure it will be long till he's installed in some important post somewhere. Picture two, and this and is the nationwide. Picture three, I asked to name the band, and that is the Stone of Destiny and a couple of roses, so stone roses. Picture four, and we asked for the, the, the name of the state that the this is in. And it's in? It's in it's South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Picture five. This, this will be an Iron Maiden. I need to think that that's probably not the cruelest of things. No, oh, but that, the, remember these sorts of things used to feature in kids' comics, like the Beano and the Dandy. Do you no. not remember that? Yeah. And these are called Tamagotchi. When, when Fiona and I were first courting her oldest daughter, her second oldest daughter used to call me Tamagotchi. Picture seven, this is? Stephen Henry. Very young picture of uh -huh. her, I would say. Picture eight. No idea. And this is Nissan. You can mm. with a Nissan. Picture nine. I did get this right, mm -hmm. but I can't remember. Algeria. Yeah. And picture ten. And this is a. Is that a bice? Oh no, it's a, a yak. It's not a bison. It's not a. a, a it's a yak. And moving on to round four, the chain. Question one. What country has the code 80? And that would be Austria. There's a wee list of codes there. I suggest you maybe study them because we might be asking these sort of questions again in the future. Question two. 
What is the birthstone for March? And that is aquamarine. So that means your next answer starts with the letter E. Question three. In the Warner Brothers cartoons, who is the arch enemy of Bugs Bunny? And that is Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Kill the weather. Something like that. Oh, Misha's in. Mm. Question four. If you are doing the doogie or voguing, what are you doing? You're dancing. There you go. If anybody like fancy learning some moves. Question five. What is another name for a wildebeest? That would be a GNU. So your next word begins with the letter U. Question six. William Herschel discovered which giant ice planet in 1781? Well, there's only one that starts with U, so that's Uranus. Next one starts with S. Question seven. Which 80s group had hits with To Cut a Long Story Short and Gold? And that is Spandau Ballet. Next answer begins with the letter T. SN is a chemical symbol for what element? It's a chemical symbol for tin. So question nine answer begins with the letter N. Said to be the birthplace of Buddha, Lumbini is in which country? It is in Nepal. Final question in this round, the final answer begins with the letter L. Mia, Eureka and Lisbon are the most common types of lemon. Lemon, yes indeed. So there we go. So let me catch up, see how the scores are doing. You can see it's been nowhere near as bad tonight because it's only dropped about 2,600 2, frames. It's normally up about 20,000. Mm. Right. Mm. Right, well, I think one of them is getting blocked at least. What do you think? Well, the one, the second one is not showing on here, so that tells me that it's, so Linda and John are on a total now, oh, 27. I'm saying that's more like, likely that that's the other. Mm -hmm. right, Jennifer. Six, six, fifteen. Francis and Thomas. Oh, right, nine. That's a thirty-three so far. Very good. Of course he didn't, Naoko. Janet's on a total now of 22. Very good, Janet. And have we got Stevens on 20. Right. Connor, Connor disappeared. We're just playing for fun. Uh, so, who are we missing? Daisy? Oh, right. So that's 18. So that's 35 in total for Daisy. So I think. Mm -hmm. 
What do we think? Are we, are we, see, are we keeping up or the, the tour? Are we dropping no, them? that's to go. Right. So you can remove. Why are we keeping that one? Because we, I don't. Okay. Uh, at the moment, we have in the lead Aiden on 36. Then we have Daisy on 35. Then it's Francis and Thomas on 33. Mariana on 32. And Mabon's on 31. Linda and John, 27. Uh, Janet, 22. Stephen 20, Jennifer 15. I think that's caught up everyone. Right, so it's still still close and all to play for in uh, the final round. Yeah, I think that, that um, given that Aidan, whoever you are, that you're in the lead here and that we don't know who you are and you would appear to be playing on your own, do you want to tell us, introduce yourself? Uh, and yes, tell us anything yes, about yes, yourself? Yes, yeah, yeah. Because we do get gate crashers now and again. Uh -huh. We seem to be doing very well. We could carry on in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, as always, the final round is general knowledge. So, good luck, everyone. Question one. According to the seasonal song, on what day are the drummers drumming? That's question one. According to the seasonal song, on what day are the drummers drumming? Right, so it is Aiden. Right, okay, okay. And you're playing on your own? With, with, obviously with the camera, probably. Right. Because I was going to say that because if you are playing on your own and you've got 36 out of 40, you need to get into these quiz leagues. Mm hmm. Right. Question two Kids and grown ups love it so the happy world of. That's question two. Kids and grown-ups love it so. The happy world of what? Question three. What percentage of full fat milk is fat? Is it A, 13.5%, B, 3.5% or C, 9.5%? So that's question three. What percentage of full fat milk is fat? Is it A, 13.5%, B, 3.5% or C, 9.5%? Question four. The world's biggest social media site is Facebook. Which social media site is second biggest? So that's question four. The world's biggest social media site is Facebook. Which social media site is second? This caught me out. Yeah, what well, as in that you got the answer wrong. Wrong, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know either. And I was so sure, not on you. <laughs> Question five. Lewis Hamilton will be leaving the Mercedes Formula One team to join which rival? in 2025. So that's question five. Lewis Hamilton will be leaving the Mercedes Formula One team to join which rival in 2025?
Question six. In the Australian animation Bluey, what's the name of Bluey's sister? That's question six. In the Australian animation Bluey, what's the name of Bluey's sister? <coughs> Question seven. <coughs> Which well-known distilled beverage is made from the blue agave plant? That's question seven. Which well-known distilled beverage is made from the blue agave plant? Question 8. The Brian Adams song, Everything I Do, I Do It For You, features in which movie soundtrack? So it's question 8. The Brian Adams song, Everything I Do, I Do It For You, features in which movie soundtrack? <laughs> what? Thomas. Uh huh. What's it saying? Bit of a disaster. It reminds me of my granny's last words. Thomas, don't touch that switch. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, there's all to play for. We've still got two more questions. <laughs> Question nine. Which famous whodunit opens with these lines? It was five o'clock on a winter's morning in Syria. So that's question nine. Which famous whodunit opens with these lines? It was five o'clock on a winter's morning in Syria. Last question. Question 10. When listed alphabetically, what is the first street on the original Monopoly board? So that's question 10. When listed alphabetically, what is the first street on the original Monopoly board? I suppose you should maybe clarify that by saying UK Monopoly board. Mm hmm. Although it is the yeah. original one, yeah. I think. Well, moving on to the answers now. So question one. According to the seasonal song, on what day are the drummers drumming? Now what we're interested in here is your spelling. Uh-huh. The spelling of the word twelfth, which is T W. E L F T H. If you've written down the number 12, we should have said that, I suppose. But anyway, hard lines. It's the spelling we're after T W E L F T H. Yeah. So that is the answer that we want, and that's the answer you need to have written down correctly to get yeah. the point. And the, and the number 12 isn't a correct answer anyway. No, because it, the number, that'll be 12 day. It's not 12th day, it's 12th day. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Question 2. Kids and grown ups love it so the happy world of Harry Ball. Question 3. What percentage of full fat milk is fat? That is answer B 3.5%. Give or take. <coughs> I'm 
Jekyll or two. Yeah. <laughs> Question four. The world's biggest social media platform is Facebook. Which social media platform is second? And that is YouTube. That really caught me out. I expected WhatsApp or one of those, but it's YouTube. Like I, said, I, I don't even regard that as a, that, that's why I didn't regard it as a social media site, but it is. Question five. Lewis Hamilton will be leaving the Mercedes Formula One team to join which rival in 2025? He'll be joining Ferrari. Question six. In the Australian animation Bluey, what's the name of Louis's sister? Bingo. Louis's sister is Bingo. <clears throat> Question seven. Which well-known distilled beverage is made from a blue agave plant? And that is tequila. Question eight. The Brian Adams song, Everything I Do, I Do It For You, features in which movie soundtrack? And again, I want it to be very specific here, because it's not just Robin Hood. The film is called Robin Hood and the soundtrack, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. So if you've only written Robin Hood, that's not the correct answer. <clears throat> Loads of Robin Hood films. You're so strict. <laughs> Sometimes. Question nine. Which famous whodunit opens with these lines? It was five o'clock on a winter's morning in Syria. And that would be Murder on the Orient Express. Have you read it? No. Have you? Mm-hmm. Long seen, time ago. I've seen three movies. The last one was dreadful. It was hey? terrible. Oh, Absolutely awful. terrible. Absolutely. Couldn't one, recommend no. it less. <laughs> one of the worst I've ever seen. What was his name that's in it? Oh, I can't remember. Question 10. When list... Oh, you want to read it, right? Yes. When listed alphabetically, what is the first street on the original Monopoly board? And that is Bond Street. Not Angel Islington, because it's not Angel Islington. It's THE Angel Islington, so that means that starts with T. So Bond Street is the first one, followed by Bow Street. Was it Kenneth Branagh? Kenneth Branagh, yeah. Oh, oh dear. dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean Johnny Depp was in it I mean there was quite a few uh, big names in it but it was just dreadful it's quite a skill in, in our opinion quite a skill to have made a, a murder a whodunit so boring yeah. where you didn't care anyway <laughs> moving on let's see if we've heard the scores of that now that we've done the final round Seven from my bonds, very good. <gasps> mm. <laughs> a bit of a crash and burn on that one, Stevie. Oops. Um, do, 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 22. Yes, it was that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that, that's, a, that's about the highlight of it, eh? Next up, your name, Beth. Very well done. Where are you? Well, I've got you in here somewhere. Beth, thirty-nine. Very good. Um, ba ba da ba dum. Wow. Aiden. Very close up here. Aiden, just as a matter of interest, who's playing with you? Yeah. Is it is, is your mum? Ah, uh, well done, Stevie. <laughs> As I say, I had just never ever considered YouTube as a social media site, you know? Right, so, uh, Janet's told talk. Sorry, Janet, I didn't mean to phone you there. I hit the wrong thing. Uh, Janet's final score is 25. So, well done, Janet. That's up there with one of your higher scores again, I think. Right, and Linda and John are on a total of 32 and they're blaming it and saying it's not one of their best efforts because they've had too much chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Question 
So you're playing on your own, Aiden. Okay. Steady, steady. Mariana finished with 38. Jennifer, where are you? Oh, Jennifer got three. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll be glad to know, Stevie, you, you, you've uh, pulled it back a wee bit in the race for the wooden spoon. <laughs> uh, right, and Daisy. So 41. 41. Ah, yeah. very good. I mean, what a, what a score that is. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, our, our winner is Aidan with 42 points. Uh, second, we have Daisy on 41. Yeah, well done to you all. Well, well done, Aidan. Well done, Daisy. And uh, third, we have Beth. Yep. Yeah. Equal fourth, we have Mariana and Francis and Thomas. Uh, then that'll be six, then will be the Marvins. Yep. Uh, then seven, London John. Then it's Janet, then Stephen, nine, and ten. So, all I can say is, well done, Aidan. And, yep, that's you. Uh, uh, hopefully you'll come back in a month's time and see if you can make it two in a row. Right. Yes, and we we have missed some of our regulars tonight uh, as yes, well. Yes, we have. Right, so there, there, there'll be uh, more competition the next time, shall we say? Is that some? It's exceptionally high scores here. Uh, it certainly is. Well done. Right, so it's time for our tiebreaker question, and here it is. Just so, for fun. Yeah. So according to the world, Guinness World Records, how big in feet is the world's largest Easter egg? How tall? How tall? Yes. Let's see how tall in feet. How high, how tall. Uh, London John, I guess, from twenty one feet. Twenty one. Right, we can see them all start to flood in now yeah. that somebody's put in their yeah, opening bed. Somebody's put a marker, yeah. <laughs> oh, Francis and Thomas, 34. The Marbons, 42. Will the next one be higher or lower? Lower, at Stephen on 33. Then we have... Daisy on 32, and we have somebody on 30, Mariana on 59, and Aidan on 35, and Aidan on 35, uh, do we have anything from Janet? Uh, she's just writing now. Uh -huh. Jennifer. J Janet's Beth. also said 35. Janet says 35, Beth says 50, and Janet says 35. So that's everybody in. Mm -hmm. I don't, that's going to be the quickest ever. I don't know, not got Jennifer. Jennifer's probably bumped off. No, nothing from Jennifer. Okay, well, the answer is. So the arch, oh, Jennifer's saying 60. Oh, Jennifer's saying 60. Okie dokie. Right, that's everyone in in the county pot. The answer is big drum roll. 54 feet, so that I believe Beth. the winner Beth. is Beth. Which I think is the second tie break in the row that Beth uh -huh. cracked. Yeah, you're, 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 you're the, 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 the tie break wizard, Beth. <laughs> Champion of a yeah. ran random answer, as well uh -huh. as right up there in the quiz. 
Ah, very good. What? Oh. <laughs> so, so well done. So, yeah, so well done Aidan on winning the quiz tonight and well done Beth on winning the tie break and thanks for joining us everyone and I think, let me just double check when our next one will be, is it 28th, 29th? Where's the, where's the, where's the calendar? So the last, next, the last Sunday will be the 28th. Yeah, I thought it would be, so the, tw the 28th of April will be our next quiz so hopefully we'll, we'll see you all then. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. Thanks all for joining and um, we'll see you all soon. Night night, thank Bye, you. Everybody.